Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video guys. Sorry it is dark in here. Um, it's been dark in here all day. But that's not gonna stop me by making you or making me some reaction videos. So let's get right into it guys. Um, today I am going to be reacting to Noah Monk reacting to the iCarly reboot, reboot, reboot. So, to see if he's coming to the iCarly reboot or not. So let's get right into it. Well, we may not get Sam, but we just might get Gibby. Welcome and well, welcome we back, everybody, Sam, to the we number one home Gibby. for film welcome and television and lovers everywhere. Everybody. If you're a diehard iCarly fan, then you've been following the highly anticipated movie, iCarly The Hawk's Eye, as we have. The Paramount Plus project, which is set to launch this eye, summer, just gets Paramount better and better. And we can't wait to share the latest details. With Jerry Trainer, Miranda Cosgrove, and Nathan Kress, all reprising their roles. And now, time for a confetti surprise. We've been itching to find out any more original characters. Present. We already know Jeanette won't be showing up, but what about Noah Monk? Noah played a super funny, super shirtless good guy Gibby. He was such a fan favorite that he was bumped up to series regular in season 4, and almost had his own spin-off show titled Gibby after iCarly wrapped in 2012. Gibby's comedic timing and child friendly humor had a statement. When the spin-off fell through, oh, Noah went on to act in a string of series and films such as Nicky Deuce, a family comedy that featured him with Gibby. Noah soon landed a reoccurring role as Naked Rob Smith in the mega-successful ABC sitcom the Goldbergs. But would he join the iCarly 2021 reboot? Let's find out. I hope. I hope he joins it. Comment down below if you guys think he's gonna join the iCarly reboot. But he's been acting alongside his family for years. In fact, it was his sister's super fun improv class that got him into the craft and gave him a push into acting. Noah was always drawn to comedy. Fun fact, Noah is a big brother. Yep, we all know that little Guppy was Noah's real life brother. But did you know that he's the oldest of five siblings? Sounds like a full house. By a young age, Noah had landed guest spots in Rules of Engagement, All of Us, and American Body. 2007 was his big year. And I introduced our baby. You start an argument with me. I start an argument with you. As he landed the role of Gibby, Gibby was often the butt of the joke and a point of physical humor. In the first few seasons, he'd always take his shirt off and dance with him. He'd also often be a victim of Sam's physical and verbal bullying. He'd also often be a victim of Sam's physical and verbal bullying. As Sam and Gibby's popularity as characters grew, so did the slapstick physical humor. Sam became more violent and was less of a verbally witty character from the first few seasons, while Gibby became a target of her violence, though he did stop taking his shirt off. It's interesting and notable that though these two were fan favorites, they both present the show due to their roles. Mid-2000s comedy meant Gibby would be the chubby weird kid who played with something that added to his money. After the show ended, Noah pursued a music career under the name Nuff. He also started a YouTube comedy channel where he makes his own sketches and original content. Though the funny backward style of comedy was common and was highly embraced by the young audience at the time, Noah Mark expressed some resentment when asked about possibly reprising his role. Noah appeared on the OYC podcast in 2017. Almost three years I didn't know that. Old, I probably reduced it to the green light. What does it do? What? Mind. While speaking to the presenter, he was asked if he would ever come back for an house party reboot. The announcer even thought it would be 20 years later. Hilariously. I hope so. In like 20 years on Netflix and they try and bring iCarly back and come back. iCarly coming back after only 9 years off the air. When Noah was asked about iCarly, he was audibly apprehensive. Citing their relationship and feelings he had towards the show and how he still feels strange about it. Maybe I'll have a better relationship with it then and I'll be like, yeah. He first joked about how he would turn as a super fun. Dwayne yeah. Johnson type, who would be more successful than anyone else. They all acknowledged that Gibby was sort of the underdog who was looked down. Noah went on to say, I don't know, maybe I'll have a better relationship with it then, and I'll be like, yeah. He went on to say, I have a weird relationship with it right now still. I have like a weird relationship with it right now still, I don't know why. I don't know why, I appreciate it, but I also have a hate for it. I appreciate it, but I also like have a hate for it. Which I guess is understandable, because I was like the beat up punching bag character. I was like the beat up punching bag character. Like the I mean, Noah's frustration with the show seems similar to Jeanette McCurdy, who expressed embarrassment and resentment. If he doesn't join I Cry the Reboot because all the hit bullying on him and stuff, then I understand that. But it'd be cool if you joined the reboot because, no, he's funny, he's Gibby, and everyone loves Gibby, so. They also stated that a position would always be open for 
and engine net should they decide to return. This means their characters are probably going to be left with an open-ended story. No crazy deaths or anything like that. We can't wait to see what the reboot will look like. Alright, guys, comment down below if you guys want to be in the reboot. No one wants in on his perspective during iCarly. Do you see why Noah is apprehensive about joining the cast? How do you feel about his comments and his character giving to an adult lens? Do you think Noah will make a small cameo appearance in the upcoming reboot? What's up, Billy? I'll let you out of juvie, huh? Let us know in the comments up, below. And if you enjoyed this quick iCarly fix, then make sure you give us a big thumbs up. If you want up-to-date videos from the world of film and television, then subscribe and switch on those notification bells, people. Catch you next time. Subscribe and switch on those notification bells, people. Catch you next time. Well, well guys, I hope you guys did like today's video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. Alright, you gotta do that, alright? Subscribe if you guys are new, guys. Get me to 100 subscribers, guys, before 2022. But, guys, that is gonna do for today's video. If you guys did it like today's video make sure you guys hit the like button all right but guys all my socials down in the description down below instagram twitter snapchat facebook tiktok twitter all in the description down below other than that guys i look creepy it's been Peyton, and i'm out peace